I think a lot of people missed the real gem of what Andre 3000 was saying here. You gotta put the time in to figure out who you are and what you are, what you not too. A lot of times what you not is very important, you know, cause you can wanna be something, but your strength is actually in something else. There are so many people who wanna be creative, but they'll look around and they'll like see what they think is working and they'll just try to replicate that. But yo, that worked for them, not you. That's not your idea, that's not your conviction, that's not your passion, that's not your ministry, your mission, your calling, none of that. Finding out what you're not means you're gonna have to go out on a limb and try some stuff that you don't see nobody else doing. I've been creating since I was seven years old, and all that time consists of me searching for originality, conviction, passion, authenticity, something that stirs me up and gets me to move to action. And the risk of that attempt, that's gonna show you who you are. It's going to show you what you are and it's going to show you what you're not. So many people attach their identities to cultures that their originality would actually cause them to disrupt. On the flip, being different for the sake of being different is also trash. Your trophy is that you're different, but your difference doesn't benefit anyone. And true creativity, true originality, like true identity, it produces. It stirs up others. It impacts its surroundings. You know what I'm saying? But you're just different. Like, good, good for you. I promise the world does not need more versions of things that already exist. Like, the world needs you.